Do be seated. As Secretary and Clerk, it is my privilege and pleasure to welcome you to this evening's graduation ceremony. Graduation ceremonies began in the 15th century and the tradition which, attach, which is attached to them has evolved since. Graduation means taking a step, and graduation symbolizes the move of the former student, now called a graduand, into a role in wider society as a graduate, there to use the talents developed as a member of this university society. Each graduate will cross the stage and shake hands with the vice chancellor to symbolize their transition to this new role. And we will applaud them for their success so far and in anticipation of their contribution to society in future. At the end of the ceremony, the vice chancellor will formally admit all those who have crossed the stage, symbolizing that each and every graduate is now incorporated into the community of scholars. As new members of this community, as the academic procession leaves the stage, the new graduates will join the procession, and that will conclude the proceedings. It is now time to begin our formal proceedings, and I hereby declare the ceremony to be in session and call upon the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Michael Thorne, to address you. Vice-Chancellor. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to welcome you all here today to join in this special day, a day in which we celebrate your achievements, the class of 2013. For most of us, graduation is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, so we do hope you'll enjoy it. But perhaps those here today whom it will most please are those who have supported you during your studies, parents, partners, children, and friends. To all of you, we say, we couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much for your part in our success. Let me give you just a taste of how successful Anglia Ruskin students have been this year. For a start, they have made us the number one university for men's judo, winning the British University Championships for the third successive year, beating Loughborough, Bath and Oxford in the process. Thank you. And four of our cricketers made it into the MCC Universities squad, a team that is made up of the very best young cricketers in UK universities. Midwifery student Elizabeth Blamire was the winner in the academic achievement category of the Cavell Nurses Trust Scholarship Awards. At the Macmillan National Children's Picture Book Illustration Awards, Anglia Ruskin students claimed the top four prizes. 
Alex Mellonby was signed up by the Cillian Press for his first novel, Trigartha's Promise, while still a student on our MA in Creative Writing. And Lord Ashcroft International Business School student, Charlene Collard, won the Globally Responsible Leadership Initiatives competition and attended their annual conference in South Africa. As Anglia Ruskin graduates, we know that you will be in great demand. The most recent statistics show that very nearly nine out of 10 of our students were in work or further study within six months of graduating. Seven out of 10 go into jobs classified as professional with a median starting salary of more than 24,000 pounds, around 3,000 pounds above the national average. I have no doubt that our student success in the world of work stems directly from our close relationships with such international brands as Timberland, Specsavers, UPS, Harrods, Volvo, Wilmot Dixon, Barclays Bank, and the Tri Services, the Army, Navy, and Air Force, for all of whom we deliver degree level programs in the workplace. Our project with Barclays Bank winning two national awards in the last year alone. And in a brand new partnership, we are working with the Russian Railways Corporate University to develop a program for their senior executives. And Russian Railways have over one million staff. We have eight officially world-leading research areas. They are Allied Health Professions and Studies, Geography and Environmental Studies, Social Work and Social Policy and Administration, Psychology, English Language and Literature, History, Art and Design, and Music. Building on these magnificent achievements, our academic staff and their researchers and research students have also enjoyed a very successful year. Shelley Scholar, Professor Nora Crook shared the prestigious Richard J. Finneran Award for 2013 for her major role as co-editor of volume three of The Complete Poetry. Bill Clinton invited Dr. Alid Jones, director of our Global Sustainability Institute, to address the influential Club de Madrid, a conference of former world leaders. Dr. Rohan McWilliam has become president of the British Association for Victorian Studies. Dr. Peter Allen was awarded the College of Optometrists Neil Charman Medal for outstanding research. And Professor Clarissa Campbell Orr has been appointed as the new president of the Society for Court Studies, a post at one time occupied by historian David Starkey. With six European partners, as part of the two-year, 2.4 million euros European Commission-funded project, Echo to Echo, we have developed a recyclable architectural product which reduces energy use in buildings whilst enhancing acoustic performance and thermal comfort, but which costs a fraction of the price of competing products. We have also secured funding under the FP7 EU research program to design and manufacture a novel valve, which will revolutionize the extraction of oil from the North Sea, increasing the amount of oil that can be cleanly extracted from an oil field, with potential benefits worth billions of dollars to the oil industry. Our Center for Entrepreneurial Development and Research in partnership with the University of Stellenbosch, is working to develop entrepreneurship in South Africa. The research-based program is funded and supported by Barclays South Africa and the Micro Enterprise Development Organization. Our postgraduate medical institute now offers four master's degrees in surgery. Eye surgeon Professor Rupert Bourne has led a WHO Global Burden of Diseases study looking at the prevalence and financial burden of blindness. Funded by the Gates Foundation and delivered in collaboration with Harvard, 
John Hopkins University, the University of Washington, and the University of Queensland, published in a historical first ever edition of The Lancet devoted to a single topic in December last year, Jim Yong Kim, the president of the World Bank, stated that this research will set the terms of health policy, planning, and funding discussions for years to come. In June, we secured funding from the European Regional Development Fund for a five million pounds project to assist businesses in producing greener, resource efficient medtech healthcare solutions and products. We continue to invest in new buildings. Construction of the new music therapy center finished last month and our new building for our Faculty of Health, Social Care and Education in Cambridge will be finished before Christmas. And work began this summer here in Chelmsford to construct the Anglia Ruskin Business Innovation Center for Medical and Advanced Engineering, the MedBIC, which will be home to up to dozens of businesses and bring our bioengineering laboratories up to the standard of those at Imperial College. Now, before I close, I should like to take this opportunity to thank the members of the boards of Anglia Ruskin University and the partner organizations represented here today. Amity International, um, the London College of Accountancy and the London School of Marketing for their unstinting support and advice and partnership working. But most importantly of all, I want to take this opportunity to offer my deepest thanks to the staff of all of those organizations, each of whom directly or indirectly has made an enormous contribution to your success. Everyone here today owes, owes all our staff a huge debt of gratitude, and I think we should show our appreciation in the usual way. Finally, to all of you receiving degrees, diplomas, and certificates today, if you enjoy the occasion, remember there is a way of repeating this once in a lifetime experience. Study for a higher degree. No matter what, you have a lifetime of learning ahead of you. You join a long line of distinguished alumni, which includes Chan Abraham, CEO of the Luminous Group, Oliver Baines of Blake, who won Best New Album in the Classical Brits Awards and are now celebrating having sold more than half a million albums. Lynn Berry, CEO of the WRVS and now at the Canals and Rivers Trust. Manish Bassin, who covers sport for the BBC. Charles Clark, former chair of the Association of Chief Police Officers. TV presenter Nick Crane of Coast, Mapman and Great British Journeys. Their honours, Judge Margaret Fawcett and Judge Howard Kemp. Alexandra Pringle, Editor-in-Chief of the Bloomsbury Press. And Mark Wood, who moved from Deputy Chairman of the commercial giant Paternoster to become CEO of the NSPCC. We're very proud of you. Best wishes for your future careers wherever they take you. Do please keep in touch with us. Anglia Ruskin University would not be the exciting, ambitious, and vibrant community it is today without you. Thank you. We now come to the presentation of those receiving awards this evening to the Vice Chancellor. And I call upon Deputy Dean, Professor Packham, to read the names of those who will be presented from the Lord Ashcroft International Business School. Professor Packham. Vice Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present to you students and graduates from the Lord Ashcroft International Business School. Amity University in London. For the award Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business Management, Aisha Bank Anthony. <laughs> Tapo Stephen Aliandi. <laughs> Sir 
Simon Hawanfia Havadalahana. For the award, Postgraduate Diploma in Management, Calvin Alsawaya A. Dodin. For the award, Master of Science Management, Tayen Narovashingisi. Michael Mathura. For the award, Master of Business Administration, Ahmed Al Bayati. Akash Arora. Shipla Guliha, <laughs> Chief Hihenacho Nzenwa, <laughs> Hiaji Obaski, <laughs> Kunal Sundir Apahide, <laughs> LCA Business School London. For the award, Bachelor of Arts, International Business Management, Mohammed Nafiz. <laughs> Hasif Ichikata Ahmed. <laughs> Yaqub Ali. <laughs> Abdul Majid Bilal. <laughs> Saeed Salam. Bachelor of, for the award, Bachelor of Arts with Honours International Business Management, Nova Akhamed. <laughs> Sahadel Alam. <laughs> Mohammed Aladdin. <laughs> Mohammed Shazeb Al Ala. <laughs> Niaz Ali. <laughs> Mohammed Yasir Ali Alvi. Mohammed Majid Amnat. <laughs> Monica Ayi Afe. <laughs> Bila Azam. <laughs> Rusan Akhtar. <laughs> Lovson Bandari. Mohammed Anwar Ulkak Shoran. <laughs> Mohammed Jaharan Chowdhury. <laughs> Bryony Claire Cooper. <laughs> Mohammed Fossal. <laughs> Saadia Gilhaz Sahara. <laughs> Jafro Hassan. Mohammed Zanahid Ibn Mustafa. <laughs> Usama Imtayaz. <laughs> Mohammed Assad Iqbal. <laughs> Mohammed Arafal Islam. <laughs> KB Maradzini Avakaika Jaradodina. <laughs> Mohammed whom I am, Kabir. <laughs> Mohammed Ifran Kasana. <laughs> Sistri Kadaka. <laughs> Adil Ahmad Khan. <laughs> Mohammed Nazir Khan. <laughs> Omar Shizad Malik. Sylvia Helen Patricia Nazumba. <laughs> Syed Shawroz El Nakwi. <laughs> Harris Nasir. <laughs> Anne Hayo Nigwin. <laughs> Tashin Noroz. <laughs> Samita Sampang. Bim Nat Padel, <laughs> Niva Pradhan, 
Mohamed Asafur Rahman, Fazil Islam Raju, Riswan Rashid.